So, Rickroll. Why, why would we need a whole talk about Rickroll? It's ridiculous, right? Um, well, it's not as ridiculous as you think because much of the subtle art of Rickrolling has, in my opinion, been lost over time. So, in the early days of you know, chat room links that we naively followed and that sort of thing. Um, some of these links, you know, when you clicked them, yeah, it was going to play Rick Astley, but your computer starts on fire too, or um, well, we're not going to do that, but, you know, we can, we can play around a little bit. So, just going a little deeper into things that, that we can do, but it's better than dropping a YouTube link to Rick Astley. Doing it is. Um, and so the way I'm going to do that actually is um, I'm going to just go to this one. All of these are on the internet. Um, what's the other one? The other one is. Uh, but you'll think I am. 
If you go to security-compliance-tools.com, click on one of my links that ends up redirecting to RAM. It'll kind of work on an iPhone. It's really great on a laptop in this particular case because I reverse your mouse. So it makes it really hard to escape from the page. So that's what this little spinning rig head. Um, you know, like I'm moving the mouse left, now I'm moving it. Now I'm moving it right, but it's going left. <laughs> it's really confusing. So that's the, the illusion of loss of control. Like this is part of the fun, right? You guys following me here? Like pranking your friends, um, pranking your kids if you're, um, if you're sending like a maple story to your daughter or whatever. Um, it's a spot. Uh, it's screwing up a little scroll bar, so it's like, what's going on on my computer? Ah. Right, hold on, I have a weapon. <laughs> it's really hard when you're when the mouse is reversed and you're
And I'm going to show you, this is a different site, and this walks through some of the things. Um, I actually, I made this for, for, a, um, for the 50, is it 502 or 503? I can never remember. 502? Yeah. 502 project. So it's like a kids um, coding and security thing. Uh, and we had a lot of fun. And I was like, we should do basic HTML or JavaScript CSS stuff because a lot of, um, I mean, honestly, people, people in, so no offense, but like people in cyber don't even necessarily know all this stuff. About the three like pillars of a of any website. I mean, there's a website is doing these three things: HTML, JavaScript, CSS. Um, but the browsers and the languages allow you to cheat and do things that you should not be able to do. But for whatever reason, you can. Um, so this is secret-squirrel.com, feel free to go to it. The code for all these is also on GitHub. Um, I pushed to it today as I was like, oh, I should have this page to it. But, um, so like, of course, it's like basics. Um, the idea, of course, is that at any time you should probably view source. Let me show you a few ways that it's easy to treat. I know the text is small here, but that's what command plus is for, so let's load that right up. Make it big. Okay, so of course, you know, as you can see, this just links over to the uh, original site that I have. But here's one very trustworthy link. Google.com. that's okay because users using a website don't look at that either. So if they see a, Google, a, a link that says google.com and it's blue like a link and they're like, oh, that link goes to google.com. It does not. This link goes to the link. Yes. Okay. So this is one link. This is like the easiest trick in the book, right? Um, but I've been, did anyone, did anyone not know that this works? You can raise your hand and be like, I didn't know that. Let's try, this is the one where I either do or do not get questions. Hold on.
this keyboard is another one. Oh, I know. The fake little bar thing. Surely, there's got to be like that light bulbs on here, right? Does anyone know how to do this on a Mac? Where are the freaking light bulbs? Just for those who think that like, oh, I know we got on a tangent, but I do this, uh, this is why the site is called Secret Squirrel, because um, I have a bunch of distractions. So um, let's just say you started putting your username and password into one of these sites. You're okay as long as you don't hit login, right? What do you guys think? Yeah, no. Who thinks you're okay? All right, a couple of people think you're okay. I'm just going to start typing in here. That comes in my interview, that password. So it's obviously a good password. Uh, because entropy is all that matters. So you can see in the console, like my JavaScript is sitting here, spitting out, like, hey, you did this. Um, yeah, because you don't, you don't have to hit login, right? You can, when you're searching uh, Google, you're getting these results returned as you typed. That means that whatever you're typing is going up to a server. So you don't even have to really get something. They can be like, wait a minute, this is sus. But they've already typed in and half their password. Oh yeah, and just for fun, because this is my, this is the uh, prank version, you get this little RIP when you start typing in there. And, but then, I love stuff like this. You hit login and like your shoes come off and there's a little creep so like that. Um, you gotta have fun. Okay, so why did I do all of that? Because, um, the point is, pranking people, probably scamming them too, is about terrible user interface. Um, and it's also about you know, showing them things that they, they think uh, are legit, but they're not legit. So, let's do some. Okay, well, in here, this is, this is the same thing, but it's obviously the highlighted link that says bankofamerica.com, and it takes you there. I think that would get me on a bad day. Would that get anyone? I mean, like, be honest with yourselves. I, I've probably done this. So, all right. And then this is an honest thing. It really works for us. So links, that's one thing. Links don't necessarily go where you think they're going to go, so you can trick people with them. Let's see if I have anything on here. Okay, 
Okay, so this page is called Embed OG Things. I'm going to copy the tiny URL, which is tinyurl.com forward slash OG at Let's go to, okay, close your eyes for like five seconds because when I pull up Discord, it's going to have a spoiler. Oh, it doesn't have a spoiler. Good, okay. I'm going to go to general. How many people are in the Eastside Safety Discord? Yeah, all right, everyone should be in there. I'm just going to post this little tiny URL. What is this? I'm going to get in trouble. They're never going to invite me again. So, I'm going to post it. Well, come on. What?
that's the Bank of America one you really want. Uh, do you want to look at some quick code? Like, um, wait, hold on. Someone raise your hand for a question. Can I get a hand raise? I'm, I'm going to tell you the question here. Oh, okay. Ask me, hey, Rav, how did you reverse the mouse? Oh, good question. So he asked, hey, how do you reverse the mouse on a web page? I was hoping someone would ask that. Um, so let's take a look at that. Go back to my little uh, dashboard here. Firefox or Chrome. <laughs> now you can do everything. 
<laughs> so, yeah, so there's a few solutions there. Uh, the ultimate one is uh, compile your own web browser that looks just like theirs. <laughs> I remember to change it later because yours is not being updated and eventually you're going to get destroyed by a tiny little version of Google Chrome or whatever you call it. Yeah, what was, there was another question in the back. Yes, sir. What links? AMP. So where it's basically like a browser within the browser. Um, so I'm, I'm not familiar with the terminology, and I'm, I'm not the grandmaster expert on all of this anyway, but um, I do know that um, one, of, one of the tricks, kind of for what, what you were talking about, that has worked in the past on some um, some browsers, this is, I think, been fixed on most of them. Is you put in an iframe that goes to like any other website where the user has cookies, and then autoplay will work because somewhere on the page, a site that they have a cookie for has, um, uh, or, or, or somewhere on the page exists a site, you know, or uh, an embedded piece of the site that they have a cookie. Um, it doesn't work anymore because someone was like, wait a minute, this isn't smart. The page that's trying to play, uh, you know, the, the music or lo automatically load the media file, whatever it is, uh, is only embedding the page that they have a book for. So, uh, or, uh, but uh, I, I do know that that has worked. Uh, and may, there may, there's probably still a or something that works on the actual users. Uh, has anyone ever gotten a virus from a from an image or a uh, video? I, actually, I always think about that when like things want to automatically load. I'm like, man, I should trust my browser a lot. But why can you do it? Okay. Um, right. Hopefully that was fun. That's pretty much what I've got. Unless there's any other questions, I'll be happy to answer. Yeah.